Hello everyone, in this lecture we will study about the design of fully differential telescopic kilogram. So let us take an example here, the BVD is given as peak volt. The peak to peak differential of this thing is again 3 volt and the power distribution is 10 millivolt, whereas the voltage varies given as 2000. We have assumed that the value of mu and qx is 60 microampere volt square, mu peak ox is 30 microampere, lambda and lambda p is 0.1 per volt and 1 to per volt respectively for an effective channel length of 0.9 micrometer, where gamma is the value of 7 and magnitude 0, VTH and N VTH P is given as 0.7. Now the figure shows that the opam topology along with two currents mirror. Okay. Opam topology along with two current mirror. Here. Okay. So this value of I M9, this value of I M9 is 3 milliampere, whereas I M D1 and I M D2, they both having a term current term as 330 micrometer. While each cascode branch of the OTAM carries a current of 1.5 milliampere. Okay, the output swing that is the node X and Y swing is at 1.5 volt without doing this M3 and M6 in saturation. Okay, so for this M9 they have but as we have said, said that each output branch of the OTAM carries a current of 1.5 milliampere. So how is it possible? So we have all the voltages that is mod of DOD7 plus DOD5, DOD7, DOD5. Okay, we have mod, so we have the mod sign plus DOD3 plus DOD1 plus DOD9. Okay, it equals to 1.5 as M9 carries the largest current. So VOD9 is equal to 0.5 volt where it's chosen. Okay, now this VOD5 is equal to mod of VOD7 which is equal to 0.3. And VOD1 and VOD3 will be equal to approximately 0.3 volt. Where W by L, this W by L ratio can be designed by having a value of this current ID, train current, Using the saturation so region equation that is half mu and cos W by L, which is minus Vth square square. Putting all the values, we can find W by L expect ratio for transistor 1 to 4 is equal to 1250, while for W by L expect ratio for transistor 5 to 8 is triple 4 times 1, whereas W by L for transistor 9 is, is coming up to be 400. Okay. Now the next parameter is gain, where gain is given as this gain is given as GM1 in bracket GM3 RO3 RO1 that it goes in parallel with GM5 RO5 RO7. Okay, so to increase how we can increase this gain, we can recognize that GM R0 is equal to this is simple computer test equation is equal to under root of 2 mu1 cos W by L ID upon lambda ID. Okay, this is in product with this. Okay, and it's proportional to under root of WL by ID. Okay, as lambda is proportional to this lambda is proportional to 1 by L. Okay, so we can keep the value of 1 by L and again solving this equation, we can get WL. It is in under root, it will cancel out. So we get WL ID. Okay, we can therefore increase the width or length and therefore increasing the width and uh, length and therefore decreasing the drain current. Okay, we can choose W by L from uh, for transistor 5 to 8 as 4 times 1 micrometer upon 1 micrometer and the gain will become equals to 4000. Okay, next parameters come, performance parameter is PM level and bias voltage. Okay. In this, the VB1 and VB2, V2 bias voltages must be used so as to allow maximum output swing. Okay, so the minimum input common mode level is VGS1 plus VOD9, which is equals to 1.4, while the VB1 minimum is given as VGS3 plus VOD1 
plus VOD9 is equal to 1.3. It places the M1 and M2 at the edge of triode region, while VB2 max is given as VGD minus VGS5 mod plus VOD7, which is equal to 1.7. Okay, so this is all about the design of fully differential band. In the next lecture, we will study about code bridges, passport opening. Thank you.